it's Rachel from Paper Ventures. Welcome to my channel. And here is the photo I'm scrapping. It's when my husband, Andy, and I went to St. Andrews, New Brunswick, and uh, we went whale watching. So these are some of the products I'm using. A doily. I took a lot of crepe paper products out that I wanted to use because that's the point of this series. And then I just went through my stash and found any blue items I could find. These papers are all crepe paper papers, Maggie Holmes mostly. I'm just kind of showing you um, how I narrowed down the stuff that I'm using. I just, I went with a color, color scheme. My picture has blue and orange in it. I figured there's no way in heck I'm going to find orange because I don't really have much orange in my stash. So let's go with blue. So that's what I'm doing and the orange will just stand out and that's totally fine with me. So I just pulled out a bunch of my blue stash um, because I just thought that would help narrow it down a lot. I ripped some of these papers. Sorry, you missed that part, but I ripped some of these papers and um, I put chipboard on the back of the photo so that it would stand out a little bit. And of course, a doily. This flat excuse me, this flower is uh, from my stash. I, I'm sorry, I don't remember where it's from. Like, I know a pen pal gave it to me, but I don't know who, so I'm sorry. But uh, that tag right there is from uh, my pen pal, Tina. She gave me a lot of, the, I think it's from her. Yeah, I think so. She gave me a lot of this stuff from the confetti collection, I think. Yeah, 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 she did. I had two pen pals who gave me really cool birthday gifts and they both, I think, use that collection. So anyway, um, I'm going to use my scallop punch to just make a different kind of um, pattern and texture, whatever you want to call it, uh, in the background. So I'm going to do that. And honestly, like, I didn't really care if my blues coordinated very much. I just kind of wanted, like, blues. It doesn't really matter what kind of shade of blue. As long as I stick with basically only blue, then I thought it would be okay. Whereas if I did like a bunch of different colors, then having um, too many different kinds of blues and then too many different kinds of pinks and yellows or whatever would just be too much. So I'm sticking with blues and I think I make it work. That little bird is a cut apart. Well, not a cut apart. It's from like, it's from Maggie Holmes chasing dreams I think and it was just cut from a uh, paper I think Kira gave that to me and I'm gonna use that little uh, banner kind of thing uh, to go across the page and I cut it in two so that it kind of looked like it was bigger than it actually was and then I'm going to put I think I, I think I put a butterfly there yeah to kind of hide that it doesn't actually connect fully and I put the title Wander because we are traveling and wandering into the ocean to go whale watching. And then I'm going to take these little phrase stickers from the Maggie Holmes Bloom collection. You can kind of see in the bottom left hand corner there, I have that sticker sheet and it has lots of black and gold items. Those puffy sticker butterflies are from the Maggie Holmes Chasing Dreams collection and... I just used two of those, which I wanted to use a third because like I like things in threes, but it didn't, it wasn't bothering my eyes too much. So I could live with that. And then there was just no spot for a third one. So that's okay. Um, I'm going to put some of these gold stars all around. I'm so sad because I'm running low on these gold stars and I love them so much. I love little bits and pieces. So I'm sad that I'm running out of them, but that's okay. I put them to good use. So that's what matters. I'm going to put some of these uh, wood veneers here and there, I think. I'm trying to figure out where to put it because I don't really know. But I think I put stars instead of hearts to kind of match really little tiny stars. And what else? Um, some enamel dots. I think I originally put more than what stays on. Because I didn't want to go too enamel dot crazy. I sometimes do that and then it's just like, wow, too much everywhere. So I do, yeah, I originally put on a lot of enamel dots. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe it wasn't on camera that I went enamel dot crazy. That could be it. 
Um, but I'm going to put some gold Heidi Swap Color Shine here and there. Different size splatters. And what else? Oh, yeah. Bringing out more enamel dots. I think this is when I go crazy. I love enamel dots, but I don't know. I try to... I try to make it in like clusters like of three like three different enamel dot places, but then here I just went a little overboard. And I'm running out of pink ones, which is kind of sad. But that's okay. I'll just have to go buy more. But the thing is, Hobby Lobby is over the border. I have to go to the States to get uh, some good enamel dots, but oh well, I'll get some eventually. So here's the final layout. Let me know what you think. And yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you have a wonderful day. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.